Hi everybody, Paul here from Hill Country Rings, and today we're going to make five rings, not five golden rings, but five rings with Lebanon cedar on tungsten. So let's go in the shop. Got an order from for five rings from a customer for his wife and four daughters, I think. Um, and all the same size and all on tungsten. So I've got small pieces of cedar all cut and actually plane down or uh, turned down on the lathe flat on both sides. And ready to drill out. So let's go ahead and drill these out. We're gonna drill each one of them out, kind of like a little assembly line. And uh, then we'll be mounting these cores to this wood. All right, so the ring is 18.58 millimeters in, di in uh, diameter. So I'm gonna go ahead and chuck up an 18 millimeter Forstner bit and drill out that wood. So let's go ahead and do that. Well, we're not still not fitting the ring yet. It's close, but not yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my patented sanding device here to open up that hole just a little bit so we can fit that ring core. Perfect. All right, now we just got to repeat that four more times. So there's all five of the rings uh, ready to be mounted, but they're drilled out and fitted. So they fit, they fit in there really good. So it's looking good. Okay, now we'll clean the ring up with denatured alcohol, the wood and the cores, and then we will bond them together with two-part epoxy. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and put on my uh, respirator. So. Now the uh, two-part epoxy just needs to cure uh, and let that cure overnight. And uh, although I'm doing five rings, I did, after the second one, I, I actually cleaned these three all together at the same time. But each one is done with a separate batch of epoxy separately. So I don't try to like do two rings with the same epoxy because that is so critical to get a good bond. And I want to scrimp on that, on that uh, stage. Just gotta let them sit. All right, it's the next day. The two-part epoxy is all nice and cured. So we're gonna go ahead and cut these guys out more round on the uh, bandsaw. Maybe just sand them a little bit on the sander so that when I put them on back on the lathe, they don't catch the corners. And then we'll be just making sure that uh, the wood is flush to the metal. They're, it's really close because this uh, I had cut this down to be just a little bit over six millimeters. So that should be real quick. And then we'll put them back on the lathe for uh, turning and shaping. Then we'll put be finishing them, putting on the finish, sanding them, and then buffing and polish. So let's get that done. All right, let's do some hand sanding. Just gonna sand it till they're 
level and it's not going to take long. So it's pretty close already. All right, so we got them sanded on both sides. Going to uh, have to put them on the lathe now and uh, shape them, like I said, and then we'll do the finish on them, sand them, polish them, and they should be ready to go. And I think I have a, explored the limits of what one sheet of sandpaper can do. All right, there are those five Lebanon cedar rings on tungsten. They came out really nice, so I'm going to get them in the mail tomorrow to the customer. Hope they like them. Uh, if you would like a ring made from Lebanon cedar, you don't have to order five. You can order one or from the deck of a battleship or wood from an M1 Garand or from a Major League Baseball bat. Please check out my site. It's hillcountryrings.com. I uh, do custom woods, do a lot of uh, custom work, and uh, love to make a ring for you. So, thanks everybody.